Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In this video, I am going to talking about Java dot Lang dot object class. Java dot Lang dot object class. As we people know that in entire Java language, we have one super class that is Java dot Lang dot object class. For all the classes, whatever the class you take, thread, array list, link list, or you can take a system, or string, or A, or B, whatever the class you are, you are taking in Java language, everything is the subclass of what you are object class. By defaultly, if you are writing any class alone, by defaultly, if you are writing any class alone, that class is always having the relation with the object class. That class always having relation with object class. Who will providing that relation? In the previous video, I told you like, in the last videos, few videos, I told you like, if the programmer not writing any extends keyword, by defaultly, compiler writing one extends keyword, that is the extends of what here? Java dot lang dot object and it will provides one default constructor. So, every class if you are not writing extends keyword that is the having direct relation with the object class. Why object class become a main class? The reason is whatever the functionality which required in all the classes mainly those functionalities are available in the object class. So, every class requires all these 11 functionalities. What are those? One is uh, two string method, one is two string method and a second one is one is two string method and a second one is second one is get class method, second one is get class method and the third one is third one is clone method, third one is clone method and the fourth one is hash code method, fifth one is equals method, fifth one is equals method and the sixth one is and the sixth one is these methods are belongs to multi threadings. This is notify and one more method is notify all, notify all. One more method is one more method is wait method, one more method is wait with zero argument, one more method is wait with wait with a single argument, wait with a single argument. One more method is wait with wait with uh, double argument, wait with the double argument, and last one is finalize method, and the last one is finalize method. There are totally there are totally eleven methods in the Java dot lang dot object class. These eleven methods are are very much mandatory for all the classes. These eleven methods are very much mandatory for all the classes that is why these 11 methods are placed into java dot lang dot object class. Now, so especially in this video, I am concentrate on two string method, I am concentrate on what here two string method. Now, what is the intention of the two string method is whenever we printing a references, it will print data in two string method always printing the data in some specific format guys, some specific format. What is that specific format? Package name dot class name, package name dot class name at the rate symbol memory in hexadecimal format, memory in hexadecimal format. Now, how it will printing this type of information? Very simple. If you cleanly observe the coding of uh, two string method, we can understand public string two string and after that public string two string and it will returns it will returns one thing like return returns one string value observe get class dot get name get class dot get name add the rate symbol plus add the rate symbol plus integer dot two hex string of integer dot two hex string of hash code. So, this is the this is the logic which we have related to two string method. Now, observe guys. So, what is get class method? What is the duty of the get class method? 
very simple very very simple what is the usage of the get class method for example i have one class like a student i have one class like a student in the student class we have some data in the student class we have some data like uh, int sid equal to int sid equal to what is that 101 string uh, s name equal to s name equal to ram now i'm taking public static void main and after that i'm writing some i'm creating one object which class object student uh, s equal to new student student s equal to new student now now system dot out dot println in the last few videos i told you like whenever we using reference variable in the println statement reference variable in the println statement internally it will calls two string method of that particular class so in this student class we don't have in the student class we don't have what is that two string method that's why the control goes to object class two string method in the object class two string method we have we have first two method that is get class what is the duty of the get class get class method will loads current reference type byte code and with the support of that byte code it will creating java dot lang dot class reference it will creating what here java dot lang dot class reference one more time i am repeating get class method will loads get class method will loads will loads current current reference reference type byte code current reference type byte code what is the current reference here yes type what is the type here student student byte code will be load will loads current reference type byte code and creates and creates and creates what is that java dot lang dot class reference and create java dot lang dot class reference or class object simply we can say like that now from this uh, java dot lang dot class reference we have byte code loading byte code means we have lot of information in that byte code lot of information we have like uh, package info package info class info for example uh, here i am taking like uh, this student class having the package like this student class having the package like uh, naresh it nit so package information it contains package information contains and class information it contains and method information contains method information contains line number information contains and uh, it's a super class information contains super class information contains a lot of information containing among the lot of information get name method basically get name method is what non-static method where exactly get name method is available is it available within the java dot lang dot class reference within the java dot lang dot class reference otherwise let me show you that uh, open the command prompt and java p java dot lang dot class java dot lang dot class here so there is one method get class there is one method get class find get a name not get class get a name yes get name method what type of method it is non-static method there is only one approach how to communicating with other class non-static data only one way object creation yeah, am i creating object here no but internally there is an object for which class java dot lang dot class so that's what i told you current get a class method will load the current reference byte code and creates what java dot lang dot class reference variable so get class will be replaced with uh, some java dot lang dot class reference variable very simple way printable method is available in the where print stream class but that method is belongs to what here non-static method but we are not creating an object for print stream simply we are writing like what system dot out dot print alone. so what is what exactly system dot out will do there it will providing print stream reference in the same manner get class method also providing print stream reference and calling the get name method and this get name method will give the information and get name method will give the information in the form of what here package like uh, class and after that uh, within the double quotes within the double quotes as it is uh, this is within the double quotes here within the double quotes at the red symbol yes after that what we have ash code so uh, 
JVM always provides memory identification number without checking any content. JVM always provides memory identification number without checking content. That content is given by what here? Hash code method. So, first hash code method will giving the preference give to our own class hash code method. If our own, our own class hash code method is not available, control goes to object class hash code method. In the object class hash code method, we have some logic with the help of that logic that provides some memory. That memory is given by the JVM without checking any content. Assume that a hash code is basically huge number, but uh, for your understandable purpose, I am taking just number like what here 159. And this 159 will be converted into hexadecimal format. Who will converting hexadecimal format? So, there is a one method like uh, two hex string. So, let me open that java dot lang dot integer class. In the integer class, there is one uh, static method. In the integer class, there is one static method that is two hex string. Now, observe guys, two hex string. This is what exactly method. 2x string, what type of method it is? Static method. In which class it is available? Integer class available. So, how can we call that? By using the class name integer dot, uh, what is that? 2x string method. Then what it will doing sir? It will converting from numerical format to hexadecimal string. So, hexadecimal base is what? 16 uh, nines are, 16 nines are how much here? 144. 16 nines are here. 144 and the remaining is what 15 and the remaining is 15. So, here how to represent the 15 in hexadecimal format. So, we guys know that in the childhood we learn how to represent the numbers in the hexadecimal format for 10 A, for 11 B, for 12 C and for 13 D, for 14 E, okay, for 15 F. So, here, here how to represent the F here? How to represent the 15 by using the F. So, entire number representation is what here? 9F. 9F. Basically, whenever we printing the references, we are not getting any numerical format data. Once if we are numerical format data, that may be a chance of what here? Uh, pointing to pointers concept. But whenever we point, whenever we printing the references, we are not getting any, we are not getting any numerical format, we are getting what here? String format. String is not a part of the what here? Pointers. Understand or not? Here, string is, pointer means it is always holding what here? Some memory identification numbers. But here, S is not holding memory identification number directly. It will holding the data in a, a reference format. So, by this uh, two string method by using two string method we can say java can avoiding what here uh, pointers concept but java avoiding only explicit pointers but not uh, implicit pointers in any language you take to representing the data in the memory definitely what we required memory we required but java doesn't support explicit pointers that means by our own we can't create uh, uh, pointer syntax in java language if it is providing if i'm writing like yes it will printing the content um, no uh, memory address directly giving then we can say maybe there may be a chance it uh, subject is belongs to concept is belongs to what your memory but here we are not pre getting the data directly in the numerical format we are getting the data in some different format so here different format is what nothing but string format so what type of data are you getting in this particular time naresit dot naresit dot student at the rate of naresit dot student at the rate of memory in hexadecimal format what is that 9f for example if you are getting the number directly there may be a think there may be a chance to think like what a java supports the pointers but here we are getting the data in the form of a string so string is not a part of the pointer so we can say java we can avoid java can avoid the pointers concept by using what here two string method so here let me give a quick review get class method will loads current reference type bytecode with the support of that bytecode it will creating what here java dot lang dot class reference variable by using that it will calling what get name method especially get name method will provide reading the data related to package information as well as what here class information after that hash code will giving one memory identification number which is given by the jvm without checking content that memory identification number will convert it into what here 
hexadecimal format with the help of 2x string. This is the internal logic related to 2x string method. I hope you enjoy this video. For more videos, please subscribe to Naresite channel. Thank you.